Howdy, draw fans. It's Pride Month, and what's that coming down the open highway? It's Drawfee's 2023 Pride Merch. We got a big rig chock-a-block full of brand new Pride shirts, as well as a trans rigs keychain to adorn your beloved truck keys. All net proceeds from your purchases will be donated to the Trevor Project, which helps support LGBTQIA plus buckaroos in need. And not only that, but on June 24th at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, we're hopping behind the wheel of our very own trans rig in American Truck Simulator and long hauling from Washington all the way down to Mexico in support of the Stonewall Community Foundation. So grab your jumbo sized Slim Jims and come join us on the open road and donate to help a great cause. We'll catch you on the asphalt, good buddy. Sayonara. Welcome to Drawfee, where we take your dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Jacob. I'm Karina. I'm Nathan. And I'm Julia. And today, yes, we yes. have yes. Yes. already yes. drawn mm -hmm. every existing video game every on single this one. Show. That's yes. true. You can go back and check. Yeah. And so we've yeah. run out of one of real ones. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. And thank the Lord, we got a suggestion. <laughs> In our Discord. Yes. From Thank Sust you, Lord, for delivering the suggestion. Thank you, Lord, for video games and more video games and video and games yet to come. For allowing Suster Pat into our Discord to suggest. Sister Pat? <laughs> <laughs> Please consider drawing what these randomly generated video games look like. And then there's a link to videogame.me. It's like video game name, but there's a dot in it. Yeah. Why'd you say net? It's not. Net na. Nah. Na. 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 Nami. Nami. Video game Nami. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> From One Piece. From One Piece? It's yeah. It's pronounced video game Luffy. <laughs> and we're going to do that. Okay. Has, I mean, we'll consider doing it. Karina but... has kindly <sighs> generated for us some prompts. And beginning with Nathan. I actually really did. And while hitting that button so many times, I came across one I felt I should give to Nathan. Ooh. Nathan. Yeah. Your video game name is Mickey's Bong from Mars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, one, of the, okay. one of the rare uh, Kingdom Hearts spin-off games. <laughs> oh, that's your gummy shit. Yeah. <laughs> wow. He flies around in a bong from Mars. Yeah. I got this from Mars, guys. Uh, this is just normal. I mean, this do. feels like right up the alley of those like NES platformers like <laughs> mickey and minnie what's the one where it's mickey and minnie and the first level you're on a boat and it's like really hard for no reason uh, mickey and Mac minnie's big boat adventure steamboat steamboat mickey adventure chronicles crystal three crystal six chronicles. four <laughs> <laughs> teardrop <laughs> 28 days that's not the name of it i have to look it up I think I know which one. I played it. I have not. Yeah, I played it too. It's the one where, where you're like walking with Minnie. Mickey Mouse Capades. Mickey Mouse Capades. Oh my God. And there was also <laughs> other ones such as The Magical Quest starring Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Just looked at the screen. Yeah. <laughs> Jacob, you might want to look that up. <laughs> Oh, there he is. <laughs> when the bong is from Mars. <laughs> this, is, this is from memory, Mickey. So I think it's pretty good what yeah. I draw. Step aside, Nathan. Let me draw Mickey from memory. <laughs> it's, it's just like. Hey, is the tagline for this game, this weed is out of this world? Ooh. <laughs> Karina and I point at each other. <laughs> It would probably be like an adventure that's out of this world. Yeah. <laughs> the trip of a lifetime. And there's an asterisk on adventure and it just says weed. <laughs> <laughs> Go for the high score. <laughs> oh, I love this face. <laughs> this game has so many highs and even more highs. No lows. <laughs> no lows on this one, baby. This Mickey is like having an experience. Yeah. Dude, am I a mouse? <laughs> but I also have human hands. Whoa. Is that is that normal? 
where did I get gloves? So skin's like <laughs> skin's like already gloves of the body. Yeah. And then if gloves it, and are then... gloves of the skin. Then what's gloves for gloves? How many layers of gloves well. should I have? <laughs> Does Mickey not have a shirt? No. Does he just no. have pants? Yeah. Yes. Am I? Yeah. yeah. Wow. You're not just a pervert. That's how he dresses. Okay. He's the pervert. Yeah. You're normal. <laughs> it's Mickey Mouse who's the problem. Yeah. He just wears high waisted pants, no shirt. Honestly. It's kind of a look. Yeah. I got to draw his bong. <laughs> and then you got to draw Mars. <laughs> and then I've got, well, it's just, it's just from Mars, right? <laughs> it's true. It could like, like you don't could need have to... left Mars and then crashed on Earth. Yeah, like yeah. Maybe, maybe he's trying to, trying to get back to Mars. <laughs> the, the bong? bong? Yeah. So the bong's a character. Yeah. Is it Elka Bong? Elka Bong. <laughs> his name is Billa Bong. Like the brand? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Billy, Billy Bong. Billy, Billy Bong. Billy Bong. <laughs> From Mars. From Mars. Mars. <laughs> yeah, I think he's got to have like... A little Marvin face? He's got to have like a face, right? Yeah. He's making the same face at Mickey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's got Mickey's really face. Me <laughs> the exact face. Yeah, it's like it, it like bonded to him. Like whoever, <laughs> whoever smokes out of it first, it like, it becomes... They're both looking at each other the same way. Yeah, like... It's like when a baby duck is born, if it like sees you first... Then you're it like imprints. the mother. Yeah, it yeah. imprints. That's that's Mars bong rules. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> and when it imprints on you, it mimics your exact face. Yeah. 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 <laughs> at, the, at the moment you touched it. <laughs> <laughs> I really see myself in this bong. <laughs> Are you a mouse? <laughs> <laughs> what am I? Am I a mouse? I'm from Mars. <laughs> Mickey has big hands. <laughs> the big hands really make it's me laugh. Is this yeah, is this foreshortening? Yeah, it's I mean okay. the, the whole game is sort of like it's a little I don't mean this to like undermine your skills as an artist because you are incredibly skilled, but uh I did just kind of view this as them standing next to each other, like in the hallway, <laughs> and the bong's really big and his hands are really big and he's falling over. I don't know. <laughs> I mean Maybe you, I'm from Mars. You can it's open to interpretation, yeah. man. Like we're not here trying to limit your viewpoint. Yeah. I know that I've like standing. I know that I have like four reference points in my <laughs> uh, media literacy. Yeah, All right, which, which media one's literacy. it going to be? Um, but I imagine this game plays and sounds and feels like Earthworm Jim for the Sega Genesis, <laughs> in that everything's like kind of weird and like a little gross. You know, that's how I imagine the aesthetic yeah. of this game. You know, you launch a cow. Yeah. <laughs> There's like a lot of weird happenings going on. Oh yeah, you launch on. a cow for yeah. sure in this game. I, I think this game, it's uh, it's it's like sort of halfway between Earthworm Jim game mm -hmm. and like Journey. Oh, so it's what like a combo. also like a moving, <laughs> touching exploration of camaraderie in a desolate world. Yeah, yeah. it's it's like Earthworm Jim journey but it's also like one of those like little toys you get as a child where you press the button and it oinks <laughs> it's like a combination of those three games you know <laughs> gamers <laughs> I mean have we had a game like that yet I don't think so sometimes you throw a cow sometimes you're wandering and just taking in the environment and sometimes you like hit something and it oinks at you like yeah, you, you never know what's know gonna happen. Which one you're gonna get? I think I and think you're pitching Kentucky Mars. Route Zero. I'll be honest. <laughs> That's with you. just one of your other reference points. <laughs> Yo, they got buttons in that game. It's like there's weird occurrences that happen while you're wandering around. You're and doing between... the boss baby thing. Well, yeah, it's I giving know. you boss baby vibes. <laughs> Here's the thing, though, it is kind of boss baby. <laughs> this is kind of like boss baby. Now though. tell me how it's like the mummy. 
you can't. Just give me a moment. It's, it's not the, like the mummy. The bong is an object like the thing from the mummy. The thing? Wait, I'm thinking of Indiana Jones. Well, here. What's it, the thing? The mummy. It's like the mummy. <laughs> the, mummy <laughs> the mummy is the, the thing. Mummy from, from mummy? Sort of the, <laughs> <laughs> the mummy from mummy. <laughs> I mean, you could argue that Hamanoptera isn't real and that they're all just having like a bit of a heat stroke trip and that's why they all see it together. <laughs> you know, like comes out of the, in the distance, out of the wavy heat waves. The wavy heat he waves. He hot boxing in the desert <laughs> and had heat stroke. <laughs> I don't think you could argue that about the mummy. I think you could. She's going to try. All right. Because then, like, it all dissipates anyway. Yeah. You know? They lose a few people along the way There's some in the bugs. mummy. There's, There's some a lot bugs. Of bugs. Yeah. yeah. You get itchy. Are there a lot of bugs in the Mickey and the Bong from Mars? You, you. Sometimes you're not sure. Or mm. is it more like a lot of Mickey being worried that he peed his pants? You think it's bugs, but it's actually just Mickey peeing his <laughs> pants. <laughs> you're just oh. like, oh, it's that feeling running down my leg. Bugs. <laughs> they put <laughs> bugs in me, Mickey. <laughs> Yeah, and it's actually just piss. <laughs> and they did. They didn't get someone to do the Mickey voice for Mickey. Mickey talks like. Just sort of like, yeah, like this. Uh, yeah, it's like slowing down the chipmunks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. He still does the like, haha, -ha, but it's haha. -ha, ha -ha. <laughs> I found a bong from Mars, Goofy. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think it means? And then Goofy's all like, gorsh, Mickey. Yeah, Goofy's Mickey, still. Mickey's like, Goofy, stop. Not now. Take this seriously. Just like, Goofy, did you. Talk like that. <laughs> Goofy, why is your voice like that? What, what do you mean, Mick? <laughs> is that like a regional <laughs> accent? Where, where, are you, where are you from, Goofy? <laughs> I realize, Goofy, I've like listened to you, but I've never heard you. <laughs> you know? <laughs> this is very fun. <laughs> such a funny picture yeah, yeah. It's, it's the game the it, gameplay is is very much just sort of like a long cut scene with with uh quick time quick events, time events. <laughs> you have what to was... push a button like once every 20 minutes it's very meditative it's like desert bus <laughs> you really gotta pay attention speaking of hitting a button yeah. we're on oh. a two million subscriber creep we can't get the bong back to mars unless we have two million subscribers yeah. so here's your quick time event now <laughs> oh hit subscribe did you get it oh some of you s ranked that if you missed it you got crushed by a big boulder <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> if you missed it guess what you can support us on patreon yeah right now <laughs> did you do it did you support us on patreon did you do it Wow, thanks. This kind of reminds me of uh, Nathan's drawing. Reminds me of, what was that Disney game with the, the ink or whatever? You're talking about Epic, epic Mickey. Mickey. Epic Mickey. Epic Mickey. This is a pretty epic Mickey. They should try that again, but make it a stoner video game. Yeah, I agree. It's just a walking simulator <laughs> where it's you and your pong. <laughs> <laughs> amazing but it's epic sorry i just in my brain thought about a mickey mouse walking simulator <laughs> with your bong <laughs> and you're just seeing things that's kind of what life is yeah this is this is kind of lovely i you know i'm pretty pleased with this <laughs> this is great you did a great job i love it i appreciate the thought that went into giving me this prompt. It felt right for no reason in particular. <laughs> no reason in particular. I just, I just I knew I'm, you'd do a good job. I'm a big fan of Mickey. Yeah, you love Mickey. <laughs> I love Mickey His and Mars. Big hands. And that's it. And yeah. glassware. And yeah, I just a appreciator of uh, well crafted glass. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to this game coming to the Switch. <laughs> and uh, I'll be. And also mobile. And also mobile. Lots of microtransactions. Oh, yeah. You, yeah it's yeah. very pay to win. <laughs> you, you actually don't ever get to Mars unless you pay. Yeah, yeah. But once you see like the skins for the bong, oh, baby. You're yeah. going to want to drop a yeah. couple Mickey there, coins. There's yeah. some pretty good cosmetics. 
All right. I want to go now. You should go now. Okay. I'm ready for my prompt, please. All right, Jacob. I have a video game for you to conceptualize, please. Yes. Please, please, please draw educational duck Armageddon. Oh. <laughs> It's educational. There are ducks. Educational duck Armageddon. It's the Armageddon. Here's, okay. Do you want to know where my brain went? Yes. Okay. A game that teaches you what to do during different, like, simulations of Armageddon. Like, oh, like a survivalist game. Yeah, but, but it's kind of like a Rhythm Heaven game. Oh. <laughs> so, like. Rhythm, rhythm Armageddon. So, like. You have to practice getting under the table during an earthquake. And so like to the beat, you have to get under the table and your instructor is a duck. Duck and cover. Duck and cover. Exactly. That could be the name <laughs> of two of the ducks. I, I'd like to point out for the true fans watching. Not me. That this is now the, the second time Karina has given Jacob a prompt with Armageddon. Oh, that's it right. is, isn't it? Well, that was an what accident. Was the other one. It was uh, Jacob. The fanfic one. Fanfic Armageddon. Oh yeah, Lemon. what's up with that? Spin the bottle. I don't know. For some reason, you just you just make me think of the end of the world, dude. Is is this is this the video game spinoff of that fanfic? Yeah, the fan game of the fanfic. The fan yeah. game of the fanfic. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I guess if if Armageddon button makes another appearance here for, for <laughs> continuity or if it's a different type of Armageddon hey, well, he but, buttonless. I was just thinking it'd be more like a, a oh. like a duck that screams. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> screams information at you. Well, yeah, it is educational. I mean, mm -hmm. he's like, I think it's like one of those like math muncher type games. Okay. Yeah. Oh, like Except a... <laughs> it's a duck that screams at you and he's like, Solve the equation now! Now I'm gonna die! <laughs> I'm gonna die, your family's gonna die, everything you love in the world is gonna turn into fire. Yeah, the We're stakes. gonna become ash! <laughs> oh, that's correct. Do long division! <laughs> now! <laughs> yeah, the stakes for every question in the game are game over, I guess. It's just like you, you just you, you go on runs, you know, you see how, how long you can last answering the questions before Armageddon happens. Oh, it's like a roguelike. A roguelike. <laughs> rogue so this is the, the reinvention of Brain Age. Yeah. Oh. It's been a while since we've had a Brain Age game. As I was saying, an educational roguelike and chuckling. I, that's so Raven flash forwarded to the future, <laughs> seeing the comments, yeah. being like, um, that already exists and it's called this. And I'm like, okay, nerd. <laughs> <laughs> You're just like owning... Don't consume media, didn't it? <laughs> owning Thank fictional you. people. <laughs> I, I zoom back out from my flash forward. <laughs> I guess you could say that reading the comments is kind of like an education educational roguelike so true oh. Jacob this is really good yeah <laughs> oh. solve it please solve, solve it. it hurry all the ducks are gonna die <laughs> this will be like the equation on the board slowly a JPEG of someone holding a gun that's vibrating it's closer and closer to yeah. the duck. I can hear my family screaming! <laughs> the death throes of the ducks! Can you hear them too? <laughs> oh, that's correct. Next question! Next question! <laughs> Things have gotten worse since the last question. Somehow! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> this is all it is. There's like no second screen. It's just this duck <laughs> pointing at a math equation and crying. If you somehow beat the game at the end, it's just him looking shell-shocked eating ice cream or failing to eat ice cream with his family of ducks. No, he's doing the thing where it's like a bowl of peas. <laughs> he's, he's not moving. He just has like his beak in the water <laughs> with like some peas floating in. <laughs> you get like the victory music. 
It's like a quack rendition of the beautiful. <laughs> He's like, like blinking. He needs to be like crying. <laughs> I like this approach to educational games where like a lot of the time the goal is to sort of make learning fun. I think it, we need more stressful <laughs> we, education games. We should make learning scarier. So that so that when you you compare it to going to school, school seems relaxing by comparison. Yeah. Yeah. You're like, no ducks are screaming at me yeah. while I solve equations. To this is save easy. Their family. Yeah. My teacher never asks me to save their families or to <laughs> listen to the death the death throats of the duck. <laughs> I want to legitimately make this game. <laughs> really be the, the guy with like the knife to his wife. Yeah. <laughs> his wife's throat. Yeah. There's sort of yeah, like a the knife wife guy. The knife <laughs> wife guy. <laughs> There's like a global sort of Armageddon happening, but also the just sort of duck society is falling apart. A personal apart. Armageddon. So it's, it's very personal. <laughs> Honey, please. <laughs> They're doing the purge. <laughs> That's part of Armageddon now. <laughs> She's got like a sort of grim acceptance yeah. going on. If you fail a question, she opens her eyes and she goes, <laughs> you didn't remember. Pemdas. <laughs> <laughs> and it cuts to black. Yeah, and you hear her scream. Also, I see I see we're back with the big pizza slice. <laughs> oh, you mean the Italian cold steel cinquedia? <laughs> yes, thank you. I mean, what better knife to kill a duck's wife with? <laughs> This game does have microtransactions, but it's just cosmetics for the knife that the, <laughs> they hold to yeah, the, the wife knife. Wife, wife ducks oh, neck. This? The wife knife. This is my wife knife. This is my <laughs> wife knife. <laughs> it kills your wife knife. It ends her life knife. <laughs> Oh, that song's different than I remember it. <laughs> <laughs> that must not be the radio version. If I had any free time this week, I would be trying to make a very basic version of this game because it is so funny to me. <laughs> Someone inevitably will at this point. Yeah. So it's it's not a duck who's doing this. I mean, it's unclear. He's wearing a mask. Oh, you yeah. can't tell because of the mask. <laughs> yeah. but that's, you could have his bill could, just yeah, really could be. smushed down. Down his neck. And maybe like sucked it in. You know, like when you like suck on your lips so that yeah. you, they aren't. <laughs> yeah, he's holding that inside. He, yeah, he did that with the beak. He ducked yeah. it in. He ducked it in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dang. This is so distressing. <laughs> <laughs> you need to do the math faster. <laughs> It's not People. even that hard of an equation. Even I could do this, but I can't. I'm you too, have I, to. I'm not allowed. <laughs> These are the stipulations. <laughs> it has to be you. <laughs> Why are you saying anything? <laughs> There's a whole line of these games, and one's like geography, one's like biology, and each one, it's like this one's his wife, the next one's his kid. Yeah. The one after that's a different kid. <laughs> the geography. Everyone, it's his father, and he's just pointing at random like zoom ins on maps and being like, Where is this? Tell me. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just a duck. <laughs> this is where they're holding my family. <laughs> Please tell me where it is. <laughs> you have to know. You must. You're the only one. It's a really stressful version of GeoGuessr. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's like GeoGuessr without the fun, and there's like a very sad duck screaming at you. Yeah. Oh, there's the timer. Yeah. yeah. It's called Armageddon, but it's just a hostage situation. <laughs> I mean, there's also Armageddon happening. There is also Armageddon happening. Yeah. Maybe it's not a full Armageddon, but it definitely feels like one with how much this duck is crying. Well, it's yeah. A, it's a person. This duck's life essentially is over. 
like the life he's built that's true for himself his wife also does have the nuclear codes that that cancel the launch oh Oh, his wife is the president yeah Yeah. (laughs) oh my god Queen. Did we forget to mention here. his wife? Is the <laughs> Please, my wife, my beautiful wife, is the president. My wife, the first female president, who's also a duck. Who's also a duck. She's gonna die. Hey, Jacob. Yeah. This floor. It does. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Another Shut kidnapper up. can levitate. Shut up. <laughs> mid jump <laughs> the Buckets. math problems are on an easel that flips around figure out the dimensions of my house <laughs> please Quick. or else the floor disappears and we fall into the center of the earth how is he holding my wife is she really tall or is she standing on something we can't see she got big heels on <laughs> It's behind my wing. I don't know the dimensions of my own wife anymore. Help! Help! Yeah. Got it. You got it. Now what's the what's the equation? You, you did think of any math problem. Uh oh. It's just gonna be like one sixty three <laughs> divided by. 17. Yeah. Equals what? Yeah. Yeah. Please remember to answer this in the comments down below if you want to save the president. You You know it's all going to be 420s and 69s. But if (laughs) if that's not the correct answer, because I wouldn't know, (laughs) you've lost the game. The duck is sad. You... Did that? There's only one second left. Yeah, that- only yeah one so you better left. leave a comment right now. <laughs> it's only- not looking good. <laughs> Things are pretty rough at the moment. <laughs> Show your work, but quickly, <laughs> please. So sad. This is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm done. Okay. Amazing. Nothing more I, I could add it. to this. Two for two for Amazing. excellent game design. Yep. Gamers, beware. These games are coming for you. It's time for me. Hey, Julia. Yeah. I got one for you. Okay, hit me. I got a video game for you to draw. Okay. As we call it colloquially, Triple B. Beautiful blood bastards. (laughs) Beautiful. Beautiful blood blood bastards. bastards. This sounds to me like one of those like mid-2000s like gritty co-op shooter type of games like Kane and Lynch or something. Oh. Yeah, or one of those kind of like cheeky mid-2000s games where it's just like, yeah, we're a video game and we're kind of raunchy. We're, kinda, and we're edgy. a little nasty. We're so, we, this one's got blood in yeah. it. Yeah, and bastards, but and they're beautiful. Bastards, and but also beautiful. It was giving Julia. Yeah. yeah, it could be like a throwback, like Contra style, like run and gun shooter. Yeah, that's like a super bloody, mm-hmm. but also beautiful. <laughs> but also beautiful, beautiful, like, also powerful. Like when when you explode the enemies, the blood makes like a beautiful painting. Or maybe the <laughs> bastards are just beautiful. Yeah, okay. that's what I was thinking. Yeah, I do love a good beautiful bastard drawn by Julia. Is yeah, the thing that is like one of her areas of expertise. Yeah. I will say I was really debating and, you know, needed Jacob's advice because the other choice I had for you was Italian dentist annihilation. (laughs) (laughs) And that one just made me laugh. A lot of the ones I rolled made me laugh. (laughs) There's a lot of funny ones that come out of this generator. Good generator. Thank you again. For the suggestion. You know, before you get too deep into it, Julia, Mm -hmm. you got to be so careful not to make these bastards inglorious. Mm. Yeah, because that's a different Because we're going to get into some shaky legal territory if they're inglorious. (laughs) They they need to be beautiful and blood. Yes. They can be glorious. They can't be inglorious. But they can't be inglorious. Well, it's spelled differently. Yeah, it's spelled different. Beautiful. You're right. Okay. I am But is that enough? Is that enough to stave off? Quentin Tarantino's wrath. Wrath. Aww, what's he gonna do? 
suck my toes <laughs> oh no i'll take one for the team he, if he, <laughs> leave us alone <laughs> if you infringe on his copyright he takes you to court and <laughs> demands to suck your toes in front of a judge <laughs> in, front of, in front of a judge yeah the judge is like to make sure that you're doing it it needs to be done in front of me <laughs> the judge is also quentin tarantino, <laughs> quentin tarantino <laughs> in a wig <laughs> It's just like you gotta get. He summons the um, court sketcher, but in my brain, I was thinking court jester. The court That's jester. That's a different job. <laughs> <laughs> but the court jester is also Quentin Tarantino. <laughs> yeah, he hasn't done like a a movie like that where he's he plays all the roles. Yeah, I think that that should be his next one. Yeah. it's probably because he's like not that great at acting. Well, yeah, but he he's a good <laughs> enough director. It should be, it's a challenge for him. It's easy to be a good director with good actors. But what if you're the well, actor you're and you're all, not a very good actor? You're, the only actor in the film is you <laughs> doing all the roles. Can you still be, yeah, be the, the director? Yeah, that's the true test of a director. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, I just realized that like most directors are cowards. Yeah. Yeah. Because I mean, we star in all of our own movies. Yeah. Here on YouTube. Yes. Each one of these is like a movie. Yeah. And all each one roles. is very meticulously directed. Yeah. We direct it and we yeah. film it and we act in it. That's why it always goes off without a hitch. <laughs> yeah yeah that's why see in the script right, right? there it said, it said pause for a long time <laughs> and i think we hit the pause really well yeah. to yeah. confirm the validity of what was said the pause yeah. acts as emphasis the pause mm -hmm. is one of our actors yeah and our favorite actor and that we love to work with new york city Ooh, the fifth member <laughs> david's out damn David, no bring them back the city is the new fifth member of drop i like the city the city will edit our videos no the city already kind of edits our videos by making us do cuts when there's a siren yeah. that goes by that is true the city decides what bits need to be cut off yeah <laughs> the city chooses <laughs> so this is a little guy yeah, for some reason, my brain immediately went to, um, what is that game? Is it Brawlhalla that I'm thinking of? I don't is know anything about is it, Brawlhalla. Is it what you're thinking of? I There's like the little, the little dudes who look like this, <laughs> and they all fight around ring. the ring. Bread man. Are you thinking of Gang Beasts? <laughs> yes, that is what I'm thinking of. Oh, Gang Beasts. But like the sort of models and look of Gang Beasts, but in like a sort of like street beat em up style platformer. Aww. Okay. Never I like seen that. These before. I like that. Yeah. That's it what I'm picturing. It makes me think of one of my all time favorite Sega Genesis games, Two Crude Dudes. <laughs> oh. Did you ever play Two Crude Dudes? No. I think so. I've never heard of it. You play as two crude dudes. You're the only <laughs> No way. You're the only dudes bad enough to save the president's daughter. Wow. These two crude dudes? Yeah, are you looking at them? They look exactly the same. Yeah, they're they're both equally crude as it, each other. These are the fucking Da Vinci twins. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh and you basically just like go through the streets of like essentially New York and just like beat up weirdos. That's fun. Until you save the president's <laughs> daughter somehow. How I wish I was. How come in this one they're beating up someone who looks like Santa Claus and then what, oh, what is happening? Is it Santa Con? <laughs> oh, it might be Santa Con. I, I wish people would come beat up at people dressed like Santa Claus yeah. in New York during Santa Con. Not just you not know, in general. Not just in during general. Santa Con. It's a bit of a it's a bit of a mess. Man, I want to yeah. play this game again. This game ruled. This yeah. looks silly. You could like pick up cars and stuff and throw them. Wow. Those pick up anything and throw so it. Cru I mean, two crude dudes does have the same sort of same sort of melody to it as um, beautiful blood bastards. I thought you were gonna it say kind of does. Blind mice. <laughs> two crude <laughs> dudes. Two crude dudes. That's hot cross buns. <laughs> See how they punch. <laughs> See how they punch. <laughs> I don't 
play so a lot of just random games anymore because it is money. Mm -hmm. But I, I played just tons and tons of like <laughs> NES games as a kid. Mm -hmm. but pirated so they didn't have boxes or anything and i do just miss kind of diving into a game like not knowing shit about what i was being shown and just being like why is a frog like attacking me why is there cake on the ground why am i a car what am i throwing i miss that yeah that was the life nowadays when i start playing a game i pretty much know exactly what it's going to be like down to yeah. the mechanics themselves or just like the fact that graphics are bigger and more detailed now i'm just like oh i can tell what everything is it's not like the old days when i had to squint at an unlit <laughs> screen yeah. to figure out what the fuck i was doing and then also yeah game marketing is much more you you know what the game is before you get it i i don't want to know shit <laughs> I want to know nothing. But then you would play two crude dudes and this guy comes out <laughs> and you're like, I'm eight years old. What is that? That's a praying mantis, <laughs> idiot. Why is this guy here? Why is he like that? And they're not going to tell you. No. Yeah. There, and I no love answer. that. Julia, this, this guy, mm -hmm. he's so chiseled and yeah. yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love his beautiful round baby face yeah. and his strong nose. What kind of hair should he have? I think it's like beautiful hair. Beautiful hair. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Yeah. Separate. I don't know why I decided to make them very round. I, I like that choice. I don't either, but that's what I love about when you draw. <laughs> <laughs> I get. I had it in my head like one thing you'd probably draw if I gave you the prompt "beautiful blood bastards," mm -hmm. and it sure wasn't this. So <laughs> that's exciting for me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's art, baby. <laughs> this is part of the art. You're always breaking new grounds, and I I do like that it's punching. So it's the the blood is is from punching. Yeah, be beating them up. Beating yeah. them up, extra bloody. Bloody punches and beautiful faces and little sort of ragdoll like is it sort of gang beasts in in terms of the physics too like you're very sort of yeah floppy like floppy and, and slidey <laughs> yeah but you just have these faces <laughs> and the more blood that comes out the slippier slidier everything oh, gets oh yeah of course oh it's like those old flash games. Which ones? Yeah, the one where it's just like, oh, you just throw the little the little buddy into a room and you like throw knives at him and just tortured the buddy. You know, I remember <laughs> there, like the, tor a lot the torture that were like, games. Yeah, the torture games. This is how we lived. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Before, yeah, the kids these days they grew up with giving Elsa root canals. We grew up with torture buddy. <laughs> yeah, torture buddy or slappy monkey. Do you want to take off the clothes? of jesse from team rocket <laughs> <laughs> they called them dress up games i didn't play that one but we all knew what they were about <laughs> <laughs> i thought they were just dress up games if they were dress up games then why did they put them naked in it like niplets and all yeah oh my the god where were you playing these games Newgrounds. Bruh. it was all on new grounds they had it Damn. all they had it all you could play Castle Crashers, you could play Alien Hominid, or you could look at Jesse from <laughs> Team Rocket's naked body. Yeah. <laughs> Those are the three <laughs> options you had, or you could torture Buddy. <laughs> Tag yourself. <laughs> I was a torture Buddy. <laughs> and look at me now. <laughs> I was all three. Tag myself as all of them. There were four things listed. It, however many there are, tag me. <laughs> Just keep tagging me. I played every game on Newgrounds. Oh, they're doing the what jump. What is this punch. jump? I like that it's a beautiful jump for a beautiful bastard. It's like the uh, you know, the the covers of NES games that do not make sense whatsoever. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like that Mega Man one that I love so much. <laughs> yeah, this like does have that lean. vibe. Like in the game they would just be like pixel art, but on the cover they they have to be beautiful. immaculately rendered men with muscles yeah except i've drawn them as uh this yeah very immaculately round. rendered men with muscles yeah yeah they've got muscles yeah and you can render it however immaculately you want 
It's going to be a completely different drawing in the render. <laughs> <laughs> it's allowed. This is the ultimate render. You took such an interesting route with this. <laughs> I don't know why, again, why I did this. I handed you <laughs> oh, uh, just anything, really. <laughs> <laughs> and I love what I was given back in return. You like threw the ball up for me to dunk it, and instead I went to the other side of the court. <laughs> you own gold. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you did like a bicycle kick of the ball in the air, and it yeah, but the, the wrong way, way. Back over <laughs> into the other basket. Yeah, it was it was awesome, dude. But also not <laughs> not quite it. Also not in, not a legal move in basketball and lost us points <laughs> oh right we were playing basketball yeah huh <laughs> what am i doing <laughs> can't get the shoe in there yeah, yeah. that's important i like I... that he's wearing cargo shorts yeah. the first guy <laughs> i like it they're so casual <laughs> but beautiful <laughs> so you can keep some extra blood in there it's little blood pockets yeah imagine yeah. That you can like pick up a bat on the street like you can in all those games oh mm -hmm. sure you keep it in your cargo shorts yeah <laughs> along yeah. with your entire rotisserie chicken oh my god i do that all the time should a shirt say something <laughs> yeah the first shirt says, Bastard. says seven yeah <laughs> it's just the number seven yeah yeah blood his shirt should say something or where it's bastard. like this game was made in Japan and they don't know what all the words yeah. mean in English. So um, they just put like an English word on his it. Shirt yeah. could just say up and then it's seven up. <laughs> oh, it's the, it's the This is an official game. Why would it be up. seven up? I don't know. Just Nothing a... about this makes sense. He's just a big fan <laughs> of up. <laughs> and he is jumping. Yeah. yeah. He's the up one. <laughs> so and the, the other one is the down jump. one. <laughs> These are the blood bastards. Seven yeah. and up. <laughs> Seven and up. <laughs> no affiliation with the soft drink. Yeah. There's no copyright laws in Japan. Yeah. That's all damn is lie. Is that blood? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. It's like their their names are are seven and up. <laughs> But for the, the localization, they have to change it to, like, number and jump. <laughs> <laughs> it's Kevin. Yeah, Kevin. Kevin number and Jack jump. <laughs> Jack jump. <laughs> John jump. <laughs> That's a good blood splat. Beautiful blood bastards. That was a person that they just exploded through. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Minimal blood got on them. It's all over the back. They turn around, it's completely red. <laughs> but how else are they going to save the president's daughter? That's what yeah. you have to ask yourself. Because she's always getting. Then getting they get into the taken. room where the president's the daughter ducks. is. Yeah. And they have to do math. And they're like. Yeah. Oh, oh no. <laughs> and Mickey's like, I'm way too high to do math. Yeah. Just like, <laughs> the blood bastards are like, Mickey, why is this, why is this dog screaming at us? <laughs> and Mickey's like, where did I even get gloves for human hands that only have four fingers? <laughs> Tell me is that. Is there a store for me? Were they always on me? Am I the only customer at the glove store? Wasn't there an episode where I shrunk down and did a fun little dance with my glove? <laughs> like my glove came to life? Did was that, that real? Did that really happen? <laughs> or was what? I just asleep? What are you talking about? They're going to kill my wife! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Even the kidnapper looks bad at this point. He's like, he looks sorry. Okay. I just thought we were going to help some kids learn math. I don't know. I don't really want to kill your wife. I don't want to kill your wife. But I, I have to do it. <laughs> That's my programming. I hate this yeah. stupid so this, drawing that I've done. This so is a, sorry. Yeah, this is a game bundle. You get all three games yeah. and they all tie together. It's a crossover. No matter which game you start playing, you end up. Now it looks like he's wearing little loafers. 
<laughs> Their fashion is all over the place, yeah. these bastards. Me and the boys wearing sensible shoes to blow up some thugs into an explosion of blood. They just put on whatever clothes they find off the people they <laughs> kill. Yeah, they're like, yeah. uh, and you, okay, good. I found some some <laughs> some elbow pads and a band aid. Let's go. Let's go. Good enough. <laughs> what about you? Up. I got loafers. <laughs> I got loafers again. <laughs> Julia, this is really funny. Yeah, this is great. <laughs> this is not stupid. at all what I expected, but I love it. They're dumb. <laughs> wow. Well, we're going to be releasing the Drawfee triple pack of games yeah. probably yeah. in a couple weeks. Just you wait. How long can it t possibly take to program a game? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but if you want the game sooner, you have to like and subscribe on the video. You that have to do it. You have to do it. You have else. to. <laughs> please. <laughs> <laughs> Tuck's wife will die. <laughs> and if you run the numbers, you'll see that supporting us on Patreon, the, the equation adds up to value because we produce more content. Just just help. Just help us. Help us out on Please. Patreon. We love it when you help us out. And if you would like to watch us explode into blood... <laughs> We're on Twitch. on Twitch. It could happen live. Yeah, you never know. You never yeah, know. there's only one way you can see it happen live by tuning in on Monday nights when we stream. Also, we have merch. Yeah, no loafers yet, but maybe yeah. someday. Maybe someday. Yeah. We're sorry. 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 Sorry.